Right, guys, let's move on now to the next question where we are still looking at liquidity, but this time we are looking at stock. So I may have skipped a few pages. Let's just make sure that I'm looking at the correct slide. Okay, there we go. Right, the next question, numbered as four, is the business keeping too much of stock on hand? So again, you either saying yes or no. Discuss and substantiate with a calculation. If they are keeping too much of stock, why is this a concern? Now the original question read, why is this not a concern? I want to ex actually explain why this is a concern and maybe we can look at also why it is not a concern. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys. I'll separate the two. Right, so let's start off by looking at, is the business keeping too much of stock? Now remember, the two ratios that's gonna help me uh, answer this part of the question is your current ratio. So remember guys, your current ratio is all your current assets, including stock. And thereafter, I'm gonna look at the asset test ratio and your asset test ratio is your current assets excluding stock without trading stock. Right, so if we look at your current ratio, let's go back to the information. The current ratio, remember we're looking at 2020, is 1,4 is to 1. So I just want to write that down. The current ratio, 1,4 is to 1. And your asset test ratio, 2020, is 0, 0,4 is to 1. Okay, so 0, 0,4 is to 1. Let's write that down as well. 0, 0,4 is to 1. Right, now in terms of stock, so remember we don't have the figures, but we do have the ratios. So let's calculate stock as a ratio. So looking at your stock, 1, 0,4 with stock, 0, 0,4 without trading stock. So obviously if I subtract, my inventory or my trading stock is sitting at one. Now remember, one is obviously a ratio. So if I want to calculate the percentage of stock, so let's do that, the percentage of amount of stock the business is keeping, I am gonna take stock, which is one, divide that by, current ratio which includes stock. So remember, I'm calculating what percentage of stock makes up current assets. So current assets, current ratio is 1,4. So one divided by 1,4 times 100. Let's get the calculator out. So what percentage of current assets is made up of stock? So one divided by 1.4, okay, let's just change that, times 100, and we can obviously see it's 71%. Okay, we can change that further, so 71,42%, let's just round that to 71%. So in other words, the current assets, right, 71% of current assets is made up of stock. Okay, so is the business keeping too much of stock? The answer is yes, right? Because the majority of current assets or 71% of current assets consist of inventory or you can say trading stock. Right, so there's your calculation. Immediately, you're obviously getting marks for showing that calculation. Remember, you could show it as a ratio instead of as a percentage. That is also acceptable. Right, now, if they are keeping too much of stock, why is this a concern? If you go back to the beginning of the exercise, remember, this business sells household groceries, which is fine, but they also sell perishable items such as dairy and meat products. And clearly, you cannot keep these items on the shelves for too long. So that is why you should not buy too much of stock. You should not keep too much of stock. Also remember, buying too much of stock, there's a risk of theft, 
there's a risk of um, your insurance costs increasing, your storage costs increasing as well. And clearly, because it's perishable items, there is that risk that after a while, those items will no longer be uh, valid or able, or you will be able to sell the items because of the expiry dates and so on. So here, the reasons why the business should not keep too much of stock, or why is this a concern? Right, um, products, or you can mention that majority of the items that they sell are perishable. So obviously dairy and your meat products, right? And as a result, keeping them for too long, right? These products have expiry dates. Okay, you could also talk about storage and that keeping too much of stock increases your storage cost. So your storage cost will increase. And obviously you can talk about insurance as well. Okay, now as I explained earlier on, the original question, why is this not a concern? So let's assume I left the question as it was. Why is it not a concern? Okay, so obviously guys here, your response would be, this business sells stock that consumers need on a daily, weekly basis. So as a result, a business that sells grocery items, household items, you tend to overstock because customers are visiting your shop all the time, daily, weekly, they buying their groceries for the day or for the week or for the month. And as a result, it is not an issue to overstock. Okay, but in this case, like as you can see, I obviously changed the question.